lucky. He's got lucky charms. They're magically delicious. It's a kind of magic. It ain't magic. It's science. Science. Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Selly Pad. Hey, we are on day three of the awesome Habitat build. We're gonna get right into it. Let's get started. I at least took mine and got it washed. Okay. Um, Sigma Flex 552 cock started day three. Day three is a week and a half later. Here's why. DeWalt gun, it's super powerful, super convenient as you guys saw. What you didn't see behind the scenes is that it is so powerful, if your cock is a little bit cold, it will blow out the back of the tube or it'll blow out the side of the wall. So we went through about six more tubes than we anticipated using. So we had to order some more for even my build. So no worries about plenty of cases, we're ready to roll. So in day two clip, we talked about uh, the uh, thermal expansion, the elongation that was happening. Uh, aluminum can handle up to 10 to sometimes 15% of elongation depending upon the alloy. But uh, the caulk itself has a very high elongation of almost 400%. So therefore, any thermal expansion that does occur in differentiation with in our 18 foot box we calculated about 20 thousandths of an inch, we literally have a more than adequate enough Sikaflex give that it's not even a concern at all. So as everything changes in strength with heat and sun and exposure and all those elements, Sikaflex will absorb any of those variations we have. On the uh, Expedition market, you see a lot of the uh, European brands that are offered. Uh, we went through the whole engineering effort of comparing what's on the market and comparing all of the materials that are used in our marketplace. We selected the Sikaflex 552 for a variety of reasons. A little bit longer working zone, so it doesn't set up as fast. Um, it gives you more opportunity to work with uh, getting your box assembled, but you also have all the same strengths. You also have a, a little bit better UV protection. For us and our selection, this is 552 is designed for the transportation market.
The ratchet strap around the outside of the extrusion worked very well. Bill and I thought, you know what? There might be an easier way to do this. So Bill came up with some really cool aluminum plating that very well corners off everything and keeps everything snugly in place without having to use these ratchet straps. But you'll see that next time in the next video. Use all of the pieces, don't glue them in place, just to make sure that you have the right position for the vertical back wall. On a rectangular box, you'll do the whole thing here, but before you put it on, you gotta make sure that you got a hole or some way to get the inside of the wall. We used the excess pieces to actually pull the panel in place, let it set so it'll cure. We're gonna come back here in a little bit and we'll show you how to do the approach angle. This is all now in place, we let it set, and cure, and then we can start doing the approach angle wall. Once it's all in place, it'll be in position. Uh, with the approach angle wall, we're gonna actually drill, do some drilling and fabrication. We'll show you here in just a second. Uh, now's also a good time where you're sitting to go ahead and start cleaning up your excess joints uh, that oozed out. You want it to ooze out. It's not a bad thing to have a little bit of a gap for your Sikaflex, uh, because Sikaflex likes a little gap, not no gap. So if there's no gaps in anything, you actually have a weaker joint than if you actually have a little bit of a gap and put Sikaflex in there to bond the surfaces together. So um, fabrication tolerances, it's actually intended so you might have a little bit of a gap. That's an okay thing, it's actually better. With all the packaging material I received from Turn Overland, thank you very much. They also include window templates. Kitchen, bath, hatch, small window, large window, and read the turn overland instructions thoroughly, understand it before you cut any holes. Uh, not in addition to the sizing requirements, the radius requirements, there's also clearance requirements for blinds, uh, for the sunscreen, for a variety of things like that, blackout screens. So read the instructions, understand them. Uh, we will go through some videos here showing you how to put these together. I made cardboard templates so I can micro adjust anything I want to do as far as positional. I've got taping laid out on the sidewalls and then I can actually position it. Um, got really good detailed engineering prints on where I want everything to be. Uh, Dave showed you guys earlier in the subframe uh, the prints and the locations for the bracing and the box in relation to the bracing. Uh, one thing that we've done is we've gone ahead and engineered all the door window locations like I just discussed. Uh, in addition to positions of all of the doors and windows and the cutout locations, uh, brush guard details, where brush guards locate uh, with the box, you also get all the engineering prints and customer prints that you need to put these together. So for me, pretty straightforward, simple, like I just mentioned, um, where all my holes are gonna be. So I got the tape locations and I just lay them out. Pretty straightforward.
door is Dave, man. Open up the door. And the cops are coming. <laughs> it's Dave. <laughs> Voila, finished. Voila, which <laughs> means, and then I found out. <laughs> Cutting the door out, five eighths of an inch off the bottom is a perfect gap alignment, leave an eighth of an inch across the bottom. Um, looks nice and square and straight. I'm very happy. So I'm excited to get this mounted up after the rest of the box is done. Next time on Helicool's Helipad, we install the approach angle panel. Don't forget to come back and see the exciting conclusion of this three-day build. And the continuation of the brush guards, PV solar panels, it is epic. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. <laughs>